So this right here is the Infinix Smart 10 from Infinix. And what do you think would happen if I press the power button? The screen goes up, right? Now, in order to turn this back on, I do not need to press the power button. All you do is to just double tap and the screen is going to wake up back and you can easily input in your code to unlock the device. And you can also do the same thing to turn it off. Very simple. Now to have this settings turned on on your Infinix device or Techno device, you want to head over to settings, then you scroll down to system. Now you select system, then right here you select action and gestures. Right on this page, you should see double tap to turn on and off screen. Make sure you have this turned on and you can easily turn off your screen just by tapping any empty space. Now these are a few settings and features to turn on on your Infinix Smart 10 to enhance your usage or make your usage feel much smoother. Now the next settings you want to turn on is Race to Wake and this is how to enable it. So you head over to settings, then you want to scroll down to system. Now right on here you select action and gestures and you should see, look this, you should see Race to Wake here. You tap the switch to enable it. So as you can see, the screen automatically turns on. So you do not need to press the power button to turn on the display. The next feature you also want to have enabled on your Infinix Smart 10 to enhance your usage is to, is to turn on race to ear. Now with this feature turned on on your device, anytime you have an incoming call, this is automatically going to answer the call once you raise the phone to your ear. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might find this useful. So still inside settings, you scroll up and you select notifications and status bar. So right on this page, you want to scroll down and you should see status bar, you select status bar. And this is going to bring it to this page. Now what you need to turn on here is network speed. So once you have this enabled, you can see you now have the network speed showing here. This is going to tell you the megabytes per second you are getting or kilobytes per second you are getting on your network, which I find very useful. And if you really want to know, this is one of the easiest way to know. It's already built into the device, so you do not have to go onto Google and just have it checked. You can easily do that right here. And there's more you can have turned on and turned off here. And the next settings to turn on would help you unlock your device very fast and easy if you use the face unlocking method. And this is what I'm talking about. So back into settings, you want to scroll down to password and security. And right here, right on this page, you should see face unlock. You select this, then you enter in your password to go to the next page. Now, right on this page, you should see these options. And what you need to change here is you tap when phone unlocked, then you select unlock directly. And based on the demonstration, you can already see where this is heading to. So once you have, once I have the device turned off like this and I press the power button, there's no need for me to enter my code. There's no need for me to swipe up after the device recognizes my face automatically is going to open up to the home screen or the page that I left off. So as you can see. Now after unlocking your device, there's something you need to do to prevent making changes to these controls when you have your device locked. So as you can see, this device is locked and I'm unable to pull the control center here. And to enable this on your device or your Infinix device as well, you want to head over to settings, then you go to notification and status bar. Now right here, you select more settings and you should see these two options. You want to make sure you have this turned off. On this page, <clears throat> you want to make sure you have this turned off and this is going to prevent anyone from having access to the control center when it's locked. Now, I know it can be very frustrating when you're on a call with someone and they really can't hear what you are talking about because the environment you find yourself is very loud. Now, to fix this issue on your Infinix Smart 10 or if in other Infinix or Techno devices, you want to tap the call icon here. Then you go to settings. Right inside settings, you should see this feature, which is clear voice capture. So as you can see, reduce ambient noise during calls. 
you want to make sure you have this turned on and they should help resolve that issue for you. Still inside settings in the core page, select SIM and network settings. Now right on this page, you want to scroll down, then you select network optimization. And the next thing you want to do is select accelerate with mobile data. And you want to make sure you have this feature enabled. So once you have this feature turned on, both your mobile data and Wi-Fi network will be used to enhance the network on your device. So this helps boost network performance. Before we head into the battery saving tip, this is one settings you can turn on on the home screen to help you have easy access or to prevent you from swiping down to access the control center or notification center just by doing this. So all you need to do is to long press on your home screen, then you select settings. Now right on this page, you want to scroll down and under feature settings, you should see slide down on launcher and by default this is going to set to this is going to be set to search so you want to tap this then you select notification and control center and anytime you swipe down it's going to open up the control center on your device now to the battery saving tip so you head over to settings then you want to scroll down to battery and power saving now right on this page you get these options and what you want to turn on on this page is intelligent network disconnection so once you have this turned on it's going to help extend battery life on this device or on your device and it's going to intelligently disconnect from the network whilst on standby mode at midnight just note notifications would just delay a little bit but calls and messages will come through and will not be affected this device already have a good battery life and I get two days of usage out of this device. You can, it, it can even go more than two days depending on how you use the device. But if you still want to have more juice, you can also turn on the battery saver and you see the battery icon turns yellow. So this shows you, you have battery saver turned on. And this is going to affect location access. It's going to change the refresh rate from 120 to 60 and as you can see it's going to turn off background network status and other settings as well now there's an amazing feature on this infinix smart 10 and other infinix devices and let's say i find myself a good ios launcher i'll be able to tell you this as this is an iphone 16 or maybe an iphone 15 and i'm talking about the dynamic bar to access this you want to swipe up then you go to settings again then right on this page you select special function and that's the only option here dynamic bar so there are a couple of settings there are a couple of settings you can have it stand on for for face unlock calls the recorder app charging animation music player hotspot stopwatch timer google maps screen recorder and this is how it works like so as you can see as you can see from the demonstration here so these are a few you can have it stand on for so for face unlock calls recorder as i mentioned earlier so here's an example so you can see it shows up another feature is ai writing which you can easily access when you swipe down your control center and you select this icon just in case you do not see it you can select this you select edit shortcuts and you should find it somewhere here can just drag it to this side so when you select this it's going to open ai writing and you have polish extend summary and grammar so this is going to help you correct your grammar if you have anything you can type it in here it's going to summarize if you also want to extend what you've typed you can type it in here and it's going to do exactly as it says if you also want to polish what you've typed you can type it in here so let's say um going to the hospital hospital okay so this is a polish version and it says i am heading to the hospital you can also upload image as well if you want to just by tapping here the next feature you want to check out is the always on feature and you can find this in settings too. So you head over to settings, then you select 
wallpaper and personalization wallpapers and personalization so right here you can see always on display i know this is not an amoled display but you know techno and infinix they know what they do <laughs> yeah so you can have this turned on once you tap this switch it's going to enable aod on your entry level device and there are plethora of them you can select from here if you want to analog digital information personal customization image in and yeah you can select any any from this list so let's say you like this one once you are done you can also add elements if you want to so it's going to show the battery icon you can select this to turn off notifications and once you are done you tap on apply so i'm going to turn off this device display and as you can see and this is how it works there you have it always on on your infinix smart 10. Another thing you want to check out is the AI feature you get on this device. I mean, you are getting full axe on here. So when you head over to settings, you scroll down and you should see Infinix AI here. Now you get full axe voice and there's also two additional ones. You get document assistant, which would automatically analyze and extract key information from your documents to generate summaries and also writing assistance which is going to rewrite correct spelling grammar generate summaries and also perform searches now to activate Olax on this device you just need to long press on the power button for like five seconds and this is going to activate full apps. so you can just ask it any question if you want to so if you had to choose between the samsung galaxy a16 and the infinix smart 10 which device would you choose and why choosing between the samsung galaxy s16 and the Infinix Smart 10 depends on your priorities. Here's a breakdown to help you decide. One. Yeah, so this is full axe on the Infinix Smart 10. And these are a few settings and features to have turned on on your Infinix Smart 10. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section if this was very helpful. Please leave me a like. Also, if you have any settings and features you want to share, leave them down in the comment section as well. And as always, stay safe.